Tornado. So much experience. This is third series semi-finals. David Gamble, Andrew Marshall, Brian Moss. Gravity. Newcomers, but mighty thus far. WJ Dijkstra, Alex Cheron. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Cassius Chrome, a newcomer to this series, and Sir Killalot, an old favourite. Two. The durable and experienced against the powerful, but perhaps the raw. That's how I'd see this one. And Tornado has the front bulldozer scoop on. The interchangeable weaponry to get in underneath gravity. Gravity's ground clearance very low at the front because of the flipper blade, but at the side, you'll see a chasm yawning wide open. Tornado trying to exploit that into the clutches of Sir Killalot in that CPZ. And Tornado were the more experienced than those early encounters and gravity just away from Sir Killalot. Oh, but damage, hobbling, hobbling. One tire puncture, you can see there, there's a puncture. Tornado, look at the way Tornado spins, almost on a sixpence. That'll open me up to emails. A sixpence, oh, ask your granddad. Tornado, attacking gravity on the angle grinder. And gravity in peril, I think, for the first time in the championships. Was it Sir Killalot that punctured the tyre? We may find out later. Tornado gives chase. So quick across the arena floor. So versatile, but flipped away. One mistake there by Andrew Marchant driving, and it could have been so costly. And there is still life in gravity as it bobbles along on the arena floor. Tornado to the side, and now we'll push. Is it a massive power when it pushes, and gravity flips itself away for a moment. Gains some breathing space. Back comes Tornado. It is a darn dogged thing. And it chases once again, and it's, I think, press the pin release, and gravity on the pit, and caught there. And descending away from the Seventh Wars.